Okay, so let's keep going with uh, looking at this uh, fat pack box, box number 18, which is really loaded with playable cards. I thought, oh wow, it looks like I have a bunch of commons. It looks like I can start thinking about a um, kind of like a um, an, an unplayable cards cube or cards that don't really end up in anything other than limited decks. But I'm seeing all kinds of really good cards. I mean, this is a really good card for for casual play. It's some cards are bad enough that even casual play is not really good for them. Um, but I'm I'm seeing a lot of good stuff in here, and I don't want to go so fast to throw the autofocus off. When I do that, I mean. I have to go pretty fast to throw it off, and I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to take my time because these cards are awesome. I love magic. Uh, I'm not sure that I that I love so many of the trolls online, either an MTGO uh, or Reddit, but, I mean, they can be really annoying, man. They're rough. Rough. Always disagreeing with everyone. And always trying to prove a point. It's like, you know, they'll leave comments like, Hey, in that video of yours, that's not a 10th edition card. That's a Magic 2010 card. Like, dude, I was filming live. I don't know. I said the wrong thing. You've never said the wrong thing? You know what I mean? Yeah. Trolling is really not fun. And that's one of the few things that the internet, that's the ugly, this was a great card, the ugly uh, flip on the internet. The internet has done great things for our society. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, man, I, all these really cool cards landed in this box and I didn't even sleeve them. I must have been having a bad magic month or something. You know, every now and then when I would realize that there was no core set coming out and it was yet another one of these clunky small two set blocks in the last it's gonna be three years so it's gonna be three years that magic went in the wrong direction as far as filthy casuals are concerned the people who were really into the world creation business of Vortus, people I'm sure were really happy. Uh, but I think Wizards, my opinion, I think Wizards figured out the people who cared about world creation and want to read the story and they really care uh, whether Nico Bolas, you know, likes the color purple or blue. You know, what's Nico Bolas' favorite color? Dark you know? yellow. He is yellow. I mean, has Nico Bolas ever ridden a bike? Right? Um, I doubt it. Do right. they really sell bikes that are 100 feet long? Right, so... I'm like, uh, I don't think so, but... So here's... Do they sell bikes right. that are 100 feet long? So here's long? the simple simple problem and why the corset is coming back. You know, the brassiere. Well, it's coming back because... Filthy, casual, terrible players like yours truly yep. buy a lot of cards. And we, people like myself, who are terrible, terrible magic players, buy way more cards than the people who care of whether Nico Bolas likes to ride bikes or not. Because, yes, they're into Vortos, they want new worlds, and hey, let's get all the uh, world creation hippies and wizards of the coast to uh, help us, you know, figure out if, uh, you know, if Chandra really likes, I don't know, what would Chandra like? Who cares? I want to crack oh, packs. fire. Fire. Duh, she has fire on her Yeah. Head. I think she has fire. Do you think she draw, likes martinis? No, I don't even know what a martini is. Yeah, it's a drink. I don't know if she's ever gotten drunk. Has Chandra ever gotten drunk? Oh, let's talk about that. Who cares? 
make me some janky corset that I can buy. I love that artwork. Now, one thing that Matt Wizards has not screwed up is the artwork. Boy, is it always amazing and awesome. They, I mean, I got to give it to whoever is running art direction at Wizards and that, that person's crew because, yeah, it's magic artwork has continued to ride on all cylinders, even through the mistaken era of Vortos crap. Uh, sorry, Vortos. Just, I just want to crack crappy packs, man. Just give me crappy cards. Uh, warming up to uh, to vehicles. One of the things that in Kaladesh that I was like, really? Eh, okay, you want to do that? Uh, but I'm warming up to them. I'll probably, I'll probably someday even buy a Kaladesh booster box. I mean, there's got to be 10 billion of them stored somewhere. People who think uh, you can sell the Kaladesh boxes the same way that you could sell a Ravnica City of Guild booster box today for like $500 or more. But yeah, the artwork, man, whoever's doing artwork, Kaladesh, for example, has fantastic artwork. If only it was a fun uh, artifact blog, which, eh, it kind of is. Energy ended up being the new infect, of course, as we all know. I think I'm going to build an energy-based cube one of these days. Um, but yeah. I mean, these cards are cool, and energy, yeah, it's just, it's parasitic, like the great Mark Rosewater would say. Okay, so there's all kinds of good stuff in this box, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm cataloging it because at some point I want to do something with these cards, and they're not going to go in a commander deck, they're not going to go in a brawl deck, I mean, many of them really suck. Uh, they don't help anybody do anything really super cool, like draw a card every turn, stuff like that. Uh, all they have ever done is help somebody fill the slot because their pull sucked at a pre-release. That's all they've ever done. But there's got to be a cube for them where they do more. There really has to be one. Love this card. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe I don't dislike Kaladesh as much as I say I do. Here we go. Uh, 